How to write a good discussion board post. Writing a good discussion board post is essential for effective online communication in academic, professional, or social settings. Here's a step by step guide to help you craft an engaging and informative discussion board post. Step 1 Understand the prompt. Read the discussion prompt or question carefully. Highlight key points and any specific instructions provided. Step 2 Research and gather information. If the topic requires research, gather relevant information from credible sources, such as textbooks, articles, or online databases. Take notes and cite your sources properly if required. Step 3. Brainstorm ideas. Before you start writing, brainstorm ideas related to the topic. Consider different perspectives, arguments, or examples that can enrich your response. Step 4. Organize your thoughts, create an outline or a mental structure for your post, identify the main points you want to address and the order in which you'll discuss them. Step 5. Write a clear introduction. Begin your post with a concise and engaging introduction, state the purpose of your response and provide some context for your viewpoint. Step 6. Provide content with depth. In the body of your post, elaborate on your main points, Use clear and concise language to express your thoughts, support your arguments with evidence, examples, or references, avoid vague or overly complex language that may confuse readers. Step 7. Engage with the topic, show that you've thought critically about the topic, address different aspects of the question or prompt, if relevant, discuss the implications or real-world applications of the topic. Step 8. Stay on topic. Stick to the main topic and avoid going off on tangents, ensure that every paragraph and sentence contributes to the discussion. Step 9. Use proper formatting, use paragraphs to separate different ideas or points, use headings or bullet points if it helps organize your content, check for proper spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Step 10. Cite your sources, if you include information or ideas from external sources, Provide proper citations using the appropriate citation style, example, APA, MLA, Chicago. Step 11. Engage with others. If the discussion allows for responses to peers, read and respond to other posts, constructive and respectful feedback or questions can stimulate further discussion. Step 12. Conclude thoughtfully. Summarize your main points briefly in the conclusion. Restate your viewpoint or thesis if necessary. Leave the reader with something to think about or a question to consider. Step 12. Review and edit. Proofread your post for errors and clarity. Make sure your post flows smoothly and logically. Edit for conciseness. Remove unnecessary repetition or wordiness. Step 13. Respect netiquette and check back for responses. Be respectful of others' opinions, even if you disagree. Avoid using offensive language or engaging in personal attacks. After posting, check back periodically for responses to your post. Engage in further discussion if necessary. A good discussion board post not only demonstrates your understanding of the topic but also contributes to a meaningful and constructive conversation. It's an opportunity to showcase your critical thinking, communication skills, and ability to engage with others in a virtual environment. For more information on how to write a good discussion board post visit Homework Market website.